Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're playing more Super Auto Pets. I obviously uh, play a lot of this game, but today I have made a special pack built solely around getting the salamanders to work because I've only had like one good salamander game ever, I think. And I always thought it would be much better if you just had a salamander game with a pack built with like all the start of battle things in the, in the pack. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I actually just got a win with one and then I realized I didn't actually hit record and I, I hate myself very much for it. <laughs> It was so sad when I realized, but I actually don't think it's going to be that tough, so I'm just going to hold out hope that we can get another one. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the gameplay is very simple, because the pack is just stuffed full of all the start to battle triggers, and the idea is I don't even need to level the salamanders. I just need to find a lot of them early, so I'm going to do a hard roll here, because there's not really any point in doing anything until I can find one, and there's no point going for combinations either. We need salamanders, and we have two. Excellent. Extremely excellent. Uh, I'm not going to try and, like, stack them up. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Maybe should have sold the duck before I <laughs> did all of that, but... Let's roll once. We get one roll, and then I can sell something for something else. We didn't find another one, but I will buy one start battle ability. Alright, it begins. <laughs> it just begins. We have three of them already. That is an excellent start. Did set myself up pretty well, because I had, um... Oh, well, that's, that's a sad loss. But yeah, I have a lot of random tier 1s that are good for getting some early early money and stuff. So that's not bad. I'm just going to buy and sell... Actually, not that. I'm going to keep the duck until I find another salamander, I think. But I want to find my fourth fairly early, I think. So I may... That may be the end of it. I'm going to hard roll for another one, I think. And we <laughs> did find one. Let's we'll start a battle. Excellent. So obviously, these are already very top heavy. I'm not sure when I'm actually going to try and swap them over, though. Because like, it actually kind of pays off to be a bit greedy and get them to like, I don't know, even the 30s. So you want to swap one over early so you can, I don't know, survive? <laughs> Surviving's pretty good. Uh, anyway, let's continue doing this. This is also a start battle. I trust I can find another one in the next two rolls. Should probably freeze one of these two. We're going to need one. And we really don't need bat. Seahorse doesn't do much either, but maybe it does slightly more. Okay, so there's another start of battle. Honestly, order's fine. I'm going to have another turn of, like, maybe, maybe next turn I buy and sell two. Maybe three, and then I swap one over, I think. Yeah, right now we're still safe. I do need to get, like, I need some sort of better equipment on them soon, but I don't want to have to swap any individual one more than twice. Ideally, I'd only do it once, but yeah. You know what? I, I feel like at 5, what, 523? That'd be perfectly good by itself, so I'm just going to do this, I think. That's going to go do good work for us. We'll have to move it a bit, though. Don't need any of the rest of that. Alright, so we have three very top-heavy things, and then... I don't know, my tanky guy at the back. Yeah, see, <laughs> these things, they're not amazing. They're, like, single trading with everything. But I need this to keep me alive, so... Probably not even going to bother with his equipment yet, though. I feel like scaling him probably makes more of a difference. So this is a starter battle, so that should trigger it, too. I haven't tried it yet, though. It does, okay. Awesome, start a battle. Uh, let's end on this one and freeze these, I think. So, freeze another one of those. I'm not sure if I missed one, but I haven't really been looking. I'm definitely going to swap another one of these over when I can. I need, well, I at the start of this turn. Uh, oh, we didn't lose. We didn't lose. That is, there's two. Uh, we probably could. I feel like getting 30, 30 HP is probably enough on these things. Sure, sure. All right. We're not going to scale that much this turn. And honestly, we're probably going to be a... Actually, no. No, no. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna save it. I'm being very, like, wishy-washy about it, but... Yeah, on the last run, I actually felt like it was good having some, like... You know, some were pretty good at having, like, 50 HP and maybe 20 attack. And some of them, you know... Because these things, I can't really scale their health anymore. It'd be too much effort to keep buying these just to swap it over, so... Yeah, I'd rather set it back a lot if I can afford to. This is all great. I don't think I need to put a skunk at the front. Like, maybe they'll have, you know, a <laughs> turtle or something, but I don't think it really matters. And, uh, yeah, the, the stats on these things are just insane. Seems like it's very consistently good. I will be buying this again, and then we can continue buy-selling, because all of these are buy-sells, or well, start to battle things. I might end on this, just because it is a snipe. It does kill itself, but... Kind of funny. <laughs> and yeah, we don't care about leveling any of these up. I don't really care about lemon either. I think I'd rather get probably just melon if we make it that far. 
this to the back again. I'm leaving that to the front. Don't need any of the rest. Yeah, send it. Stats are king. We do not need to buy lemon. Just by virtue of my things being giant, they don't need it. <laughs> Alright, uh, there is another one, but we actually don't need it. it. It doesn't help. Like, it would ramp up the scaling a little bit, but we've only got a couple of turns left, and I don't know when I'd find another one. It's the same reason why I didn't freeze the chocolate and crow and stuff earlier. Uh, no. That was, like, instinct. I see cow, I want cow, but we're not, we're not taking a cow. Okay, that's all very nice. Send it again. I don't actually know where would be best to leave the, like, random junky one. Oh, that was, that was useless, but it doesn't cost us anything. I don't know, maybe have a lemon thing in here would be pretty good. I don't know if anyone's going to have a summoning build that's that worrying, though. Okay, that's a pretty nice one to end on, because you also get a load of stats. I'm not sure whether it's better than... I don't know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a Lynx or the Hawk. So I'm going to buy and sell those first. I think one of these is probably the best. And I'm going to end on... I'm going to end on the White Tiger. <laughs> I had to change my mind right at the end. I think the Bat might be better, but... I think we can survive with this. We we do need to swap that. I actually completely forgot about it. Wasn't looking. The run is already just too powerful. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I could just give it that and just ignore it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to find another one, and a 550 is nowhere near as useful as a 55 with pepper, so I think I leave that there. I don't think I try and swap anything. I know this doesn't scale anymore, but the rest can, and it is still pretty good stats, so I'm happy to do that. Uh, Hyena is not something I will keep on the team, but I'll trust I can find another one in the next, like, roll. We did. There's a few things hit. Uh, this is the biggest attack, right? Yeah, no. These two are both five, that one is seven. We'll freeze them though, again, we still don't need... Actually, I say we don't need it, but we could end on five salamanders. <laughs> that could definitely be interesting. Uh, let's... Let's leave it at the back, actually. If that can snipe, like, a turkey, maybe, then that could do quite a lot. Well, I don't think we have to worry about this team, but... <laughs> the snipe did nothing. Alright, so the plan here is I'm going to scale a little bit. Scale a little bit, end on baby salamander. I can maybe take this as well for that. Yeah, because then I can like buy sell twice. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do that, I think. Alright, there we go. <laughs> there is the team! Uh, definitely taking melon, because these will need stuff in the future. I'm gonna leave it like this. I am perfectly happy to just leave it like that. Alright, show it to me. Show me victory. That is very, very sad. Uh... <laughs> We got hard counted? Hold on. Hold on, one more round. <laughs> I'm not buying and selling. I'll roll for like another equipment and honestly I think these are fine. So let's just do that and send it again. It better not be the same team. Like that is the only thing that hard counters this. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Safe. No more raccoons. Alright, well there you go. That is literally, this is my second try at this run and the other one was also a 10 win with Four giant salamanders, so I think this pack might be broken. <laughs> it is a very good strategy, but uh, yeah, great fun too. Glad I tried it, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye!